wanted to work with everyone in this highly significant event, which is the inauguration of the steering committee or the establishment of community protection guards. The committee has been constituted and entrusted with the primary responsibility of devising an implementable framework that will enable the immediate commencement of the activities up to proposed community protection guards. The committee is under the chairmanship of His Excellency, the Executive Governor Malamani Malamoni, and its members have been selected from relevant stakeholders and organizations. The full membership and terms of reference of the committee are as follows. Number one, who is the chairman, His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, as well as Secretary of State Government, these are members, Chief of Staff, Attorney General and Honorable Commissioner of Justice, Honorable Commissioner, Ministry for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Ministry for Honorable Commissioner, Ministry for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, Honorable Commissioner, Project Implementation Unit, Chairman House Committee on Security, Representative of Council of Chiefs. Permanent Secretary, Cabinet Affairs, Permanent Secretary and Solicitor General, Ministry of Justice, Permanent Secretary, Ministry for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Representative of the Nigerian Army, Representative of the Nigerian Police Force, Representative of the Department of Security, DSS, Representative of Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Chairman Zam for a cycle, Director of Security Ministry for Security and Home Affairs, and Director of Cabinet Affairs. While the Director of Security Ministry for Security and Home Affairs is the Secretary, Director of Cabinet Affairs will be the Assistant Secretary. And this is to help the committee in achieving its objective. The four terms of preference. Number one, study the problems experienced as a result of the activities of the band inside IE and the suggestion outlined in the report of the security agencies with a view to coming up with implementable ways of establishing community protection, protection guards in the streets. Number two, to propose the structure standard operating procedure, enabling law and remuneration of the community protection guard at states and local government, as well as ward levels. Uh, number three, to recommend base rates of recruiting the personnel in order to avoid the engagement of unrelated persons in this job. Number four, to take any other measures in necessary successful conduct of the assignment. And number five, to conclude the assignment and submit a report within 90 days, which is way too long. I will cut it short. It's still a long way. Three months, I believe, is too long. So, so I don't have that document. Uh, unless this thing will be done, everything will be completed within one month. So, so it's not 60 days. You have 30 days to conclude everything. This, this is a very, very serious issue. So we don't have time to wait. It's not going to be. So please. <laughs> now, distinguished personalities, it is a well known fact that for over a decade, our state has been clogged by the nefarious activities of various criminals groups composed of unpatriotic individuals known as bandits. Thousands of 
lives have been lost, and property, what billions of naira have either been destroyed or stolen. Our conventional security agencies have been diligent in their effort to combat this menace using various strategies. We appreciate their kinetic and non kinetic approach in handling the sequestration in the state. However, we must admit that we continue to experience this serious issues intermittently. Undoubtedly, insecurity will not be lost. We are not challenging this approach in our real states. The states have been in the spotlight due to the prolonged incident of banditry, kidnapping, cattle rustling, and a host of other unfair and previously unimaginable crimes in this region. The repercussion of these uh, security challenges have significantly impacted all sectors of our social economy, particularly agriculture, commerce, education, as well as transportation. It is these circumstances that led my administration to introduce the Community Protection Guard as an alternative strategy to complement Previous dangers taken by the government through the conventional security agencies operating in the state. The Community Protection Guard project is designed to assist conventional security organizations in preventing and detecting crimes, as well as apprehending offenders, protecting lives and property, and maintaining law and order within the state of Zamfara. This initiative is intended to support, partner, and collaborate with security agencies in our collective effort to rid the states of persistent crimes and criminal elements. The Community Protection Guard is also to encourage community resilience against all forms of aggression from the bandits. Under this new approach, a minimum of 300 guards will be selected from each of the 14 local of the state, totaling about 5,000 in the initial enrollment. <laughs> These guards will receive comprehensive training to work with state of the art security equipment and operational vehicles alongside security personnel in carrying out their security operations. It is critical to note that ensuring the safety well being of our citizens is the top priority of every responsible government. To establish an effective and efficient security architecture, all well meaning individuals must come together to support the government's effort in rescuing the state and creating an enabling environment for social economic development. Therefore, I call upon all our royal fathers religious and community leaders, as well as political organizations, to provide their honest and maximum support and cooperation to enable us to fulfill these statutory obligations. I also want to reiterate my unwavering commitment to the people of the state. I am dedicated to feed our dear state from the grip of insecurity and other social challenges that have been befallen us as a better people within a common destiny. My selfless determination is focused on any ethical that will emancipate our state and position it on the path of glory, enabling it to compete favorably with other advanced and safe states for investors and harmonious coexistence. We must restore our legendary position as the most peaceful state in the Federation. On my assumption of office, we embark on the mission of to address the major issues and challenges facing our state by formulating the six point agenda, which focuses on security, education, health, agriculture, economy, and empowerment. As part of the strategy to address the Boston security challenges, I recently ascended to the bill for the security trust fund. We will continue to 
bill and a wide range of plans with regard to the various sectors of our economy, inshallah. I therefore call on all well-meaning people of Zamfara State to join hands with the government in changing the narrative of our dear state. In our collective endeavor to rebuild our state, it is imperative that everyone comes together and no effort should be spared. My doors are always open to anyone willing to contribute to the cause of defeating those who make life difficult and unbearable for our hardworking, law-abiding citizens. Before I conclude, I urge the committee members to be diligent and work tirelessly to complete their assignment within the stipulated period of 30 days. You were chosen based on your expected roles and I have high expectation that you will meet them, inshallah. Finally, I would like to call on all one million people of our dear state to continue to cooperate with all the security agencies operating in the state, including the proposed community guards we are about to establish. I hope and earnestly expect that this initiative will yield valuable results and serve its intended purpose. With those few remarks, it is my pleasure to integrate the chairing committee for the establishment of the community protection guard, and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make our effort of restoring normalcy to the state successful. Thank you.